Hi everyone, Catherine here, and this is take number three, because I stuffed up the first two. So, anyway, we're in June, and this is the sixth video of my channel. How about that? I think it's actually a pretty cool bit of an achievement for myself, considering the fact that I never actually thought that I would, act that I would do that before. Um, did my scratch in the ear make the microphone go funny? Who cares? Anyway, um, I didn't actually focus on one game this month. Um, I actually... Don't I actually got sidetracked and didn't really think about it too much. So um, there was one game that I had ready to download on Steam, and that is called. It's a little little game, but it's not really an actual game. It's like a story with some interactive elements in it, and it's called A Bird Story. Now, when I first saw it, I actually wanted to call it A Bird's Tale, because that's what I actually thought it was called, but no, it's called A Bird Story. Now, for those who are familiar with a game called To The Moon, in which you play a couple of scientists who succeed in bringing forth a memory to a dying, per dying man of going up to the moon, this is actually not quite a sequel but it's made by the same people who made that game uh, the graphics are very very simple and very 2d orientated so the graphics are basically exactly the same as to the moon the music is really really pretty and really just really relaxing and it's it's kind of all the way through there's no dialogue there's no actually spoken dialogue um and Actually, there's not really any dialogue at all. Uh, oh, there is some. There is some, but it's it's you kind of make it up as you go along because there's only really only three people in the actual game itself. That's and for some reason I didn't really get or understand whether that whether the main character was a kid or an adult. I mean, he went to school, so obviously it would have been either a kid or somebody in college, but he lived in an apartment. And it was, and it was living on his own. So, and in the apartment, they actually had his room, a kid's room, and what looked like a parent's room. So, it could have been a kid, but you never actually got to see the parents. And the other only two adults in the game was the school teacher and a vet. Now, Bird's Tale is a very simple, like I said, it's a story-based game with some um, interactive elements in which you actually lead the character to do stuff. Um, you go in some of the directions and you, and you have to basically draw the story along. But it's very linear and there's no actual deviance of the path that you're actually on. Uh, basically, you're a kid and you rescue... A, a bird, a live bird of, of a, um, what do you call it, uh, a live bird from a, well, the animal looked like a raccoon, I think, from in the forest. The bird seems to be injured and um, with the help of the vet uh, and your patience and your love for the bird, obviously, you nurse it back to health, you gain the bird's trust and there's sort of come, some kind of bond that comes between the two of you where at first the bird is sort of scared about you, scared from your approach, and little by little, bit by bit, you learn, you earn the bird's trust, and it's really, really so, so touching how they actually come together, together at the end. Now, the only other thing um, of the game is, it's sort of, well, I think it's actually set in the dream world, because... Of the way of the intro and the very start of the game, um, you seem to be asleep and you seem to wake up. And but the way you wake up, it's like you're dreaming. So, in a bit in between the elements of dreaming and waking world, there there's kind of worlds to inter entwine to each other. So, you got a building of the real world and you got the the makings of the dream world where everything just meshes together. And you see all these little shadows running around. Um, now that's actually kind of very, very similar, almost exactly the same with the shadows that you see into the moon. If you have played that game, or if you haven't played that game, do play that game, and you get an idea of what I'm actually talking about. Um, Bird's Tale is actually um, quite a short game, um, story, interactive, interactive story, interactive story, because it's not a full game, um, but it is a story. It tells you a story. Um, it only goes for about an hour, and the story basically is that you befriend this bird, the bird gains, you gain the bird's trust, and you 
basically live your life with the bird in a way. <laughs> there are some really, really funny moments and there are some really, really emotional moments. Um, and the end just really, really touches me really, really deeply. And yes, it did make me cry. But you know what? It's, it's one of those um, stories that the interaction between a child and an animal. A child with an innocent, naive sort of look at the world um, sees an animal in in sort of a, a desperate situation and takes it into its care, takes it into his care. He wants to care for this animal. He wants to see this animal better and well. So he takes it to the vet, as you do. The vet, however, has a different kind of take. He wants to cage the bird. That's not going to happen. The bird, as far as the kid wants to see, should be free, as all birds should be, all birds in the wild anyway. And you know what? Just the interactions, the, the soft interactions, the, the the childlike innocence of of that bringing together the the respect that the that the kid has for the bird and the bird has for the kid. It just really makes it makes it so special and just like I said if you if you've played um, to the moon or if you've seen somebody play to the moon you're going to get an idea of, of what the story is going to be about because basically both games are made by the same company one is after the other to, at a bird's tale a bird story <laughs> I don't know how many times I said bird's tale but bird story is actually made after to the moon um, it's not a sequel because it's not the same story but it's by the, exactly the same people so you get the same graphics the same kind of music and the same kind of mood and feel to the actual um game itself um the the way you interact with the world is you get these little thought bubbles that come up like like when you play the sims and and these thought bubbles tell you where you need to go like one might say oh, i need water i need food i need to do this and i need to do that uh sparkles in, in the world and a bit of fun like jumping on the bed now that was really cool <laughs> I, I used to love jumping on the bed as a kid so that took me back then really really cool um just yeah so and the, and the paper aeroplanes there again there's a an element of origami because remember to the moon had origami bunnies this one had origami or paper planes and the element of flight the element of taking flight and just being free like a bird and that that's the whole story and that's what it comes down to you know you, you again at the end it's it's unclear as to whether it's still a dream or whether it's actually really happening and in the end you just see that see the interaction and that innocence of the child helping and freeing the bird and just watching the bird and his mates just fly off to the nest and live their life now that that really really got me um because you know it's it's not because i'm a bird lover it's just that interactions between people and animals that love that bond that trust that respect that people have really really get to me i mean when i saw marley and me oh my god i lost it completely halfway through i wept like anything but that's a different story and bird story is like i said a very simple little game it takes only an hour and it's really made basically a, a story with with interactive elements basically 90 percent of the actual game is you're watching there's you have no control of what happens you're just watching it and unfold just that little bit you you know you're moving the character here and there you might move the character a few steps and then the game takes control again so you're looking at a, a different perspective you're looking at a bird's eye view on a 2d platform 2d environment and you're just enjoying the experience like i said it's like a short movie a sh somebody has made a short movie and has allowed the audience to control some elements or basically take take into account some elements and experience it for themselves. So is the game worth it? Yes, definitely. For I can't even remember how much it was. It's probably one in fifteen dollars or something like that. It is definitely worth it and it's on Steam. It's a very little game, like I said, it only takes an hour and it's really, really quite something. And you don't unless you actually experience it and unless it actually um, want to see it in a different way you get that kind of aspect and respect that for the characters 
for the story and for the simple interactive that's actually going on. So I would recommend that 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 little game and get it if you play to the moon you'll love it if you even if you haven't you'll love it as well it's just that that ending that that feeling of letting go of being of, of freedom I almost didn't want to get to the end because I knew what was going to happen but you know what it's it's all fun it's all good and I tried to record it but it didn't work so I'm gonna to have to learn how to do that properly so anyway um that's that's what I'm going to say about a bird story, a bird story, not a bird tale, like I want to call it. So um, anyway, so that's um, that's it for now, and I hope you all have a great um, weekend or whatever you end up doing, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Bye.